Yeah, I, I think what you've got to understand is how our civilization has been shaped by the Bible, our Western civilization. Uh, even if you're dealing with a, a very secular, progressive person, their secular, progressive values were impossible without 2,000 years of Christian history. You know, and certain things we tr we treat as self self evident, like the the strong should defend the weak, not exploit them. We treat that that is like a self evident matter of fact, but it's not self evident. It's it's not on the periodic table. It's not written on the stars of these on the rings of Saturn. Right. You know, it wasn't self evident to the Romans. It wasn't self evident to the Greeks. It wasn't, you know, evident to the Arab Caliphate or to the to the Ottomans or to the Mongols. And and yet we treat it as self evident because we, we our values have been so strongly shaped by the Christian narrative, by Christian texts, Christian values, Christian teaching. And while a lot of that has gone very bad in history and. You could even point in the present. You live in a Christian-shaped world, and if you want to know the world that shaped it, you need to learn. You need to know something about the Bible. And and I would even say that unless you know the Bible, you cannot understand the history of Western civilization. You can't understand um, ancient literature. Yeah, you, know, you can't understand Les Misérables. You can't even understand some of the echoes in Hamilton, the musical. You can't understand jokes on The Simpsons. You can't understand the history of democracy. You can't understand political discourse in America unless you know the Bible. So I would say, even if you are a you know a secular progressive person, um, your secularity and progressiveness is built on amplifying certain things in the Bible. You know, you can get a coin celebrating the Roman Emperor Claudius's conquest, you know, through his generals of Britain. And on the face of the coin, there's basically a picture of Claudius raping a British woman. Now, we look at that with a right. sense of a shock, horror, aghast, moral outrage. But for the Romans, this was the natural thing. You subdue people in every single way, and you can even celebrate sexual. You make sexual violence the symbol of your conquest. Wow. You know, celebrating the literal rape of the British island. Now, that they thought that's just normal. Why? Wh where does our revulsion of that come from? It doesn't come from the French Revolution. It doesn't mm. come from the Humanist Manifesto. Uh, it doesn't come from, you know, Das Kapital by Karl Marx. Uh, it, it comes from the fact that we live in a Christian-shaped world.